Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven67854 Gaming, and welcome back to another amazing Left 4 Dead 2 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at overlays. Now, overlays are very similar to decals, however, they are a little more expensive to render, but they're a lot more flexible. You can change the size of them, you can change the tiling of them, and you can put them... You know what, we'll, we'll see. But first, I want to show you some things that I've done to the level. First, I got the door frame fixed. It was finally driving me crazy. I should have just spent the one minute in the video fixing it, but I finally did it. The next part, of course, I changed up the decal. So we have a nice little decal letting people know we go uh, this way. And I also added a nice little decal here to let everybody know that this is a safe house that you just came out of. Now, back to overlays. So decals effectively assign, you know, their size and so forth based on, you know, a script that's attached in Hammer. There's a little uh, setting config that you actually create, and it actually defines some properties like the rotation and all sorts of other stuff. And decals are wonderful because you can have a whole lot of them, and they're relatively cheap, as long as you don't go too crazy. Overlays, on the other hand... Uh, allow you to do a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to select the overlay tool, which is right under the decal tool. And it's very easy to accidentally select the decal tool. Uh, I did that earlier. And we're just going to put the, we've got pills here. Now, it might occasionally, that little flickering, that's just Z fighting. Um, it doesn't do that in game, but it does it with inside of Hammer. Okay. Now, I said that you could also, you know, make it, you know, you can change the size of it and so forth. So if you go into the camera and you open it up, obviously you have your fairly standard stuff, your U start, your UN, your V start, all this sort of stuff up here. Your material, this is the texture that it's using, the brush face, this is the brush that it's actually going to render to, and it automatically applies it when you click it in the 3D viewport. Um, but these here control the tiling. So, for example, I'm going to try to get it to, you know, there, there we go. That's good enough. So, if I change the V end to three and the V start to three, it just renders kind of like, ugh. like, that's gross. And if I change the U start to three, now you see it's tiling it in a, I mean, it looks good in the sense that, and I put that in quotes there, uh, it looks good in the sense that, like, it's not blurry or anything or stretched, but now that looks terrible. Uh, so we're going to set this back to one and this back to one. And now it looks fine again. And lower values will crop the texture. So setting this to 0.5, we'll stretch it down because it cuts this part off. And we just want to leave this at one. Now, the next thing, of course, like I mentioned, we can actually, um, you know, resize them. Because, you know, obviously, of course, we can move them around in any of these viewports, but... What if we want to actually like resize them? Well, I think we need some carpet to stand on. You know, I mean, just because it's a zombie apocalypse and all this bad stuff's happening, you no, know, it doesn't mean we don't need, you know, some nice, beautiful carpet, which by the way, I don't like carpet, but that's a totally different situation. And we're just going to pick some carpet here. I'm going to pick this carpet and I'm going to place two down and I'm going to select this first one here and I'm just going to move it over slightly. And then I'm going to select this one and I'm going to move it over slightly. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm making it lock to the grid. And I'm going to move this up one. And I'm going to move this up one too. Oops. Now you can see there's still a bit of gap. So what I want to do is I want to get the selection tool and hold control. And I want to select both of them. And then what I want to do is I want to click over the uh, apply overlay. And you'll see we get these lovely little uh, node tools here, which if you've seen the clipping tool or the uh, vertex tool, it's very similar. And then we hold shift and I'm just going to drag this over and it'll snap it to this endpoint. And I'll do it to this side here. Awesome. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just, we don't have to hold shift here, but I'm just going to move it. So when we were holding shift earlier, what that was doing was it was just, you know, snapping it to the other, uh, to the other overlay, which is why you need both of them selected. And ideally, of course, we only need this one selected at the moment. So we'll just move this like so. And then we'll grab this and we'll move it like so. And now we will run our map. And wait a minute. 
or 10 minutes perhaps. And uh, then we're going to take a look at the overlays and I'll also take a look at the decals because, you know, the decals, the new decals do look pretty good. And by the way, this is pretty much everything. I mean, overlays are really good to use. Just remember, try not to overlap them because they will Z fight a little bit and you don't really want that. So, you know, do keep that in mind when you're creating them not to overlap them. So there's our very beautiful pills sign there. And then here we have our beautiful carpet with no seam and it's stretched out in a very disgusting manner. Um, and we have our beautiful frame. We have our other cheapo decals out here. And there you have it. I mean, oh, M16. And yeah, like I said, you know, this, this is as easy as it is. I mean, decals are extremely easy. So in the next video, uh, we are going to cover something. I haven't decided yet. I've decided that I'm just going to cover something individually. Um, you know, if you have any ideas for something that you'd like to see, just post it down below. Uh, I am planning a hard rain style tutorial as that's been requested. Um, so I, that naturally will be done eventually. Uh, but that's a bit more of an involved tutorial. And I want to get a bit more basics down so I don't have to explain every little thing and I can just quickly and rapidly just, you know, uh, make the uh, make the tutorial. I don't have to explain all the, you know, the basics. Okay, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that little bell if you like it. If you'd like to support this channel, uh, you can become a member by hit either hitting the join button or a link in the description. And you get early access to a whole bunch of videos. As well, uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you can either post down below or you can click a link in the description and join the Discord, an ever-growing Discord full of people who are making Left 4 Dead 2 maps, Godot, all sorts of fun stuff. And that's that, and I hope everyone has a good one, and I will see you all in the next one.